Today, we're going to be going from a rusty underbody that looks like this to an underbody that looks like this. Hey, welcome to the Matucci Built channel. I'm your host, Matt, and as you can see from that last clip, we are taking care of some rust on my O2 Forerunner. I will get into the products that we're going to be using in just one second, but first I'm going to replace this light. We're in my apartment garage and it is just terrible. Yeah, there's only one light bulb for this 11 by 20 garage and it is just terrible. Also, shout out to the Forerunner and with um, the roll down window because I can set my tripod in here and have like another kind of work area. I really tried to find something that was made in America. If you guys know of any, please let me know. But this is just goes into a normal light bulb right here. And yeah, it was made in China. Not a fan of that, but it will up the lumens on just that one light bulb. I'm gonna start here with how I'm mainly gonna get the rust off. So I have my um, angle grinder with a wire brush and then a drill with a little wire brush. This guy just goes on the drill. A couple batteries. Um, I have one on the charger right now too. And then just, this is actually for my welding. I take the slag off with this, but this might be helpful. Wire brush, um, some screwdrivers to try to just knock the, the loose stuff off. And then I've got a face shield for the face, a respirator for the lungs, gloves for the hands, and then I don't know if I'm gonna have to take off bolts or anything, so I've got that. After I'm done, I'm going to use some of this stuff just to make sure all of the rust is gone. Throwing around some sparks, so we have that in there too. Alcohol is gonna clean the metal, and I don't want any rust under um, this spray paint, so that's why I'm using this rust cutter for the most part. And then I'm gonna Cosmoline um, RP34 or 342 the rest of everything else also a vacuum for getting the rust and dust out of there in this video I'm just gonna focus on four main areas of rust and that's gonna be the hitch receiver the rear axle housing and then the gas tank skid as well as just kind of the rear of the frame I'm only taking care of the rear because I'm gonna change some things up in the front. I will um, fix the rust then. As well, I am going to do all the arms um, bushings in the rear here kind of soon. I don't know when, but we're gonna clean up the arms then and clean the rust off of those then. So just main components. Let's start by getting this hitch receiver off as well as the spare tire. I had to bust out the 17 millimeter uh, big boy pretty quickly for these bolts So a lot of crappy things I broke two bolts and Then this one is just keep spinning so I'm guessing like the nut that's up in the frame is Stuck so I might just have to cut that one off um, and Then I have a ratchet strap Pulling on the exhaust, I took it off the hanger right here and pulled it over because there was a bolt on the end there that the exhaust was blocking from getting up into. And then I just have this one, this one's okay, but I gotta cut that other one off. Not gonna lie, that was more of a pain than I was expecting but that's why we're fixing all this rust. We had some super interesting stuff here. Um, so here is a representation of the frame. It's a lot bigger obviously, but it has four bolts for the hitch receiver and um, two of them are like a nut that's welded to the inside so that you can bolt into it from the bottom. But then two of them, the other two are this kind of Thing. I pulled this out of the back of the frame rail. This nut and this nut are welded to this long guy, and then you can bolt into it when this is inside. Um, so here is the passenger side. This one turned out well, it's just fine. But here is the um, one that I had to cut, 
super interesting. So I broke two bolts on the driver's side. Let's see if I can unfold this. Kinda. So I broke two bolts, you can see right there's one of them that I broke. So this one was closest to the front. And then here's the one that I cut off. And I'm happy I cut it off because that thing just would have kept spinning and spinning. Um, but this is just an interesting design. With those two large items out of the way, the spare tire and the carrier that is, I am ready to wire brushing all this stuff off. I'm probably filthy, but I am going to show you the progress of the underside real fast, and then I'm going to start taking off that gas tank skid plate. I hope it comes um, alone, but if it comes with the gas tank, we will figure that out then. I just barely took these guys off. They are the parts that the spare tire kind of sits on top, and they're just four little bolts from the top, um, and they kind of sit up in here. But right now, here's kind of the progress doesn't look the best that rust cutter actually does very well i'll throw a picture of that this guy is actually one of the main reasons that i'm doing this this um, skid tank looks terrible and when i took my sliders off it is very exposed but let's try to get it off <laughs> I've got these outside and I'm just going to quickly clean them up to get all the dirt and bad stuff off. Here they are all cleaned up. I'm going to try to sell this hitch receiver, but if it doesn't sell then I will just use it for my bumper that I want to build. Here we are with three coats on the diff and then also the frame rails. On the bottle it says you want kind of this black or like white and chalky film which is kind of what's going on here. So I'm going to apply one more coat on all this and then I can move on to spraying after letting this dry for a few days because it says do not apply paint over wet so we'll let it dry for a lot of time. That time has passed. It is actually Tuesday and I sprayed that on Thursday, well the last layer. So we are ready to get going. But I do want to first put out a disclaimer that I know that there's still rust on this surface and although I don't like it I am okay with it because I am eventually going to come back and do all of the rear arms and axle and I'll probably do the frame then as well um, at a later time when I have a bigger shop and more um, tools for that job but now we can uh, spray down this surface with brake clean and get to painting Here is two coats and I just quickly want to reiterate that this is not my final solution. If I trap water under this paint it is actually making the rust problem worse. I have seen a lot of listings for cars that have quote unquote clean frames but people have just spray painted them because look this frame looks really clean but it's actually not and that is because I am just kind of masking it with this paint. I need to get down and get all that rust out of there eventually. I used about one can of this rust reformer for all of that, but with that being said, I am ready to move on to this Cosmoline. It's going to apply very similar to the paint, but just with this stuff. So let's get to it. Here it is. I've got one coat on here. Sorry about the salt. I drove it, but we got one coat of the Cosmoline and the entire rear section is done for now. 
I ended up only doing one coat of the Cosmoline because these nozzles were doing terrible. I tried two different can, two brand new nozzles, and they were just not really spraying very well. Well, it was just really inconsistent. But like I've said a couple times now, um, I am okay with just one layer because I can go in and add more and I this is just a temporary fix. But now I can start uh, cleaning up this garage, get the car out, and start on the skid plate. Alright, I cleaned up the garage and I'm going to get ready working on this guy. This tab is actually supposed to be opposite and I've tried many times to get in here and pry it off with a hammer and a screwdriver but just wasn't successful. It looks like it actually might be spot welded now that I'm looking at it. And then we're just going to clean this up with the wire wheel and do the same process with the rust cutter and paint. Finally, that skid plate is in, but I'm sure you have one concern, and that is what am I going to do about the front of the differential or the front of the rear axle? And I do plan on doing that. I probably will do it off camera, um, but just not right at this moment. Maybe soon, maybe in a little bit. Um, it's not as rusty, but it definitely needs to be done. A huge thank you to you for watching this video. The support on this channel has been uh, quite amazing and I actually first started it to get better on camera. I've taken this probably 15 times already. Um, in school I had a terrible project report that I was on camera and I was just super nervous and really bad in it. But um, this has helped me quite a bit actually. And then I found a lot of fulfillment in um, teaching and just kind of going over my builds. Um, on this channel. So huge thank you to you for watching and supporting. Also a huge thank you to everyone supporting uh, behind the scenes, especially Charlie. I'm down in the garage for hours on end and I know she really looks forward to that time that we spend together. So um, for her to sacrifice that and support me in this uh, making videos it just means a lot and just everyone else that has a positive impact on my life. With my rant over, I believe that that's all that I have for you. I hope you learned something about eliminating some more rust on your vehicle. Um, I think that's it. Okay, see ya. Quick bonus, I've got my extractors and I'm gonna take these two bolts out. I already attempted on this one. Um, before painting, but you can see that hole did not get drilled center, so I'll have to pull that one out some different way. Well, I have a decent hole now, but the one drill bit that I need is starting to flatten and I can't get the extractor up in there now. The other one has been soaking in WD-40, so I'm going to try to just uh, get some pliers and pull this one out through the top. So I was able to get the gas tank skid bolt out and then I welded a nut to this because I ruined this crescent wrench by trying on this extractor. Um, and then this even was not working very well. I broke the welds many times. So I just ground that bolt flat with the frame and left it. I'm not gonna use it in the future anyway.